you know my motto, I'm too smart to be broke. And because I'm too smart to be broke, I refuse to do the same thing that everybody else has been doing to our people for years, which is to prey on your lower emotions, saturate their deliberations with black power rhetoric, and all the while what they're attempting to do is just separate you from your dollar, but you can't make none of the information applicable. And shit, they barely making any, any money off of that information. When I first came up, I was out there in these streets going hard, teaching for free. And after you teach for free for hours, he, brother, can, can you come to the side? Can I ask you some more questions? I answer their questions for some hours. Next thing you know, I'm gone, I'm out of my house for six, seven hours. I come home, how the rent gonna be paid? I don't know, baby, but I'm gonna tell you this. Black power, that shit is ass backwards. So now people hating because I've learned information that I can make applicable because I put the onus on myself as an adult, as a husband, and as a father to be able to add value and contribute to my community, to my family, and to myself because you're no good to no one unless you're good to yourself. So now people want to complain, oh, we missed the old polite. Why you don't like the new one? The new one teaches way more than the old polite used to teach. Teaching every freaking weekend, constantly, nonstop. What you need to say is we miss when we could abuse this brother. We miss when we could just ask him questions all day and he's so filled with information, love, and energy and the spirit that he'll just stay out there for hours and hours and hours and everybody else can upload my videos and make their money off my videos and sell my DVDs. You miss the person. You miss the person that you could abuse. So everybody was making their bread off of me and I'm doing events and they're making their bread but when I walk away, now everybody got a problem. And guess what everybody's still doing right now? Still uploading videos, gossiping, yelling and cursing and disrespecting each other's families, disrespecting each other. Same thing they was doing when I stepped away. Because I saw nobody was soliciting, promoting or promulgating any information that you can make applicable to change your life. So I got a short attention span for stuff like that. So I separated myself from that because I wanted more out of existence. I wanted more out of my death than to do that. So now look at these no talent people. They hate me. You you think that if they had talent, they would be talking about me? No. If they had a talent, they'd be building a business and they'd be building a brand. But they can't without using me. Even when I step away from people and I'm not doing anything with them to make bread, they still got to use my name to make money. Because if they have to rely on their God to make bread, it ain't going to work. So they got to come to me. They got to use my name. And if they're not doing that, they're disrespecting other people. They're disrespecting each other. And they're doing it this year. They've been doing it for years. And they're going to do it for years to come until the well just completely runs dry. Because the only people that can make any bit of money off of gossip is the gossip of themselves. While y'all sit there innocently watching the videos, don't even realize you're watching commercials. Their AdSense account is making some coins over it. But you not benefiting from none of this information. Then they complain when I charge for my packages. You ain't get mad at student loan. You owe $50,000 student loan debt, 80,000, even some of you over $100,000 you owe. And the only thing you got out of it was a Kinko's job or to get laid off during the pandemic. You wasn't even getting paid that much prior anyway. Talk to me nice, come on, man. So I'm over here saying, hey, you spend $2,000 for my credit restoration program, then guess what? Not only does your credit go up, but then you'll also guarantee get access to over $100,000 line of credit, whether it's your personal loan, business loan, or your credit card needs. It's a guarantee, fact. You know, a lot of people got 750 credit scores and can't access $100,000. Because it's more than that. All people really know about is TransUnion, Sparing, Equifax, and FICO. They don't even know that you got other credit scores outside of that. And you gotta deal with those credit scores. And you gotta meet them, you gotta get it to the criteria and meet them. That's why we send out memorandums. That's why we send out compendiums. That's why we send out affidavits. Memorandums, compendiums, and affidavits on your behalf. It's more to it, it's levels to this. But I'm saying if you got access to six figures, I believe you wouldn't have to turn back if you got a proper business model. And I ain't saying use the whole six figures, I'm just saying it just feels good to have one tenth of a million dollars at your disposal. And if you got the business model that really could work, you'll make some good money and you should never have to look back again. That's just real talk, real talk. So, you know, it's up to people. Anyway, you go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com, you leave your full name and your phone number when you're ready to make the purchase. Those of you that's complaining, why he got a charge, information should be free, $2,000 to get the restoration of your credit and access to six figures, one tenth of a million dollars. If that's too much to solicit, don't get upset. 
don't make complaining videos. Just move on and do it your way. Because at the end of the day, anytime I post a video, it's about empowerment, it's about upliftment, it's something that you can learn, it's opportunities that's being presented. I don't spend my time talking negative about nobody. You can go up and down my page. You don't hear me mention nobody's name because I'm too big for that. I'm a grown man. I can't have my children seeing me complaining about other guys as if my world revolves around them. If you're looking for gossip, if you're looking for negativity, oh, address this, address that, go to those people's channels. Go to those non-productive channels where you won't be able to translate any of the information or opportunities that they have available to you to pay your rent or pay your mortgage or pay for your car or to take your children out or to give your wives special experiences all over the world. Like, that's what I'm into. Because at the end of the day, when this existence is over, how did you spend your time? At the end of the day, when this existence is over, what did you do with it? Did you just sit here? Think about the hours you might have spent listening to gossip. It'll really play a role in your mind when you realize you're about to be on the way out. If you're blessed to see old age, you're gonna look back in retrospect and say, damn, I spent entirely too much time listening to non-productive information. Come on, these people are 30, over 30 years old, over 40 years old, over 50 years old on YouTube. You think that when they was children, their dream was the one day uh, get attention from people so they can speak negative about other people. No, they're lacking in knowledge. They're lacking in actual fucking talent. The only talent that they have is gossip and regurgitating themes that they've been doing year after year after year. You think these people know anything about mortgage hypothecation? You think they know anything about Lexus Nexus and check systems and how to make sure it doesn't compromise the integrity of your credit disposition so you ain't alienated by consumer data aggregates or CDAs? You think they know about that? No. You think they know how to leverage smart contracts so you can uh, invest fractionally in the equity of real estate so you can get a return inside of two, three, four, five years or even inside of six months? No, they don't know. They don't know. Because while some of us are studying all the time to better ourselves, other people are just minding other people's business and learning and consuming data that they don't need. And I'm totally against it. So I'm not going to give you all this black power rhetoric and talk about the evil white man and the pale Arab and you can't turn around and pay your bills and then your family's looking at you like, damn, you be listening to Brother Polite all this time. You ain't never bringing nothing back to the table. No form of motivation and inspiration to take your life to the next level. Everybody out here got a goddamn go for me. Send me these donations here. Cash, cash app you for what? You talking about other people's lives and you want to make money off of that? Like, when the freak are you going to get an actual talent or a trade or a vocational skill and share it with somebody so people can learn? When are you actually going to do something like that and be a damn adult for a change? These people are disgusting. And it's sickening. Because while they play, like, oh, we revolutionaries. We against that, brother. We got to get him out the community. We, we don't deal with that. Hold on. You guys are the same people that pride yourselves in living in the hood of California, out here in California. We don't deal with stuff like that. You're the same people that's in Baltimore. I'm from b -more. We don't play games. And I hang out with the gang members. Same people. Oh, I'm in Harlem. I'm in the Bronx. All you Negroes that got your YouTube channels. I'm in Detroit. I'm in Atlanta. All you people that pride yourselves in being in the hood. You mean to tell me you live in the hood and you don't see people that are part of experiences that are detrimental to our community so you can post their names and post their pictures and post their families and post their children and be as disrespectful as you are to me? I live in fucking Beverly Hills. I'm not in close proximity to you. On your way home, into your building, into your house, around the corner, you must see prostitution. You must see gang members. You must see drug dealers. And you say hi to them, you wave to them, you befriend them, or you mind your business. You can upload their pictures. You can find out their names and post their names on the internet. You can post their videos. You could be a real revolutionary and start it from where you are at in your community. Stop fronting and attempting to bully people that don't live around you. Go in your neighborhood. They probably live above you as your neighbors or below you as your neighbors, around the corner on the same block, a few blocks away. You see these people every day you're in and out to go to work. Every day you're in and out to go to the store. You see these people all the time. So let's not let's not play stupid here. Let's not act like you really being a revolutionary. Let's tell the truth. You're just looking to collect some money off of YouTube and you're finding the most negative topic you can find because you know negativity draws attention and you can get some coins per the attention that you get. Let's just tell the truth and let's tell it like it is. You're not really a revolutionary. You're not really interested in what the public may gain from whatever you disseminate. You're looking for the easy way out for a cheap buck. And you're so limited that if you'd have spent the same type of commitment into studying, you would have adopted some kind of skill that is worthwhile to share with your people that maybe your people wouldn't mind patronizing you for. Imagine if I came out of a Honda right now.
right now. Would anybody ask if it was rented? Imagine if I came out of, stepped out of a Toyota right now. Would anyone care in the black community if it's rented? But if you step out of a $300,000, $400,000 car, I guarantee you everybody wants to tell you that it, it, it's at least lease. Oh, it's rented. Oh, my man drives those cars. Yo, that's what they do. That's what they do. Imagine if I just lived in the hood and I had a decent apartment. Would anyone care if it was Airbnb or if I'm renting out from somebody? No. But when you live in a nice home, you know what they do? Oh, it's Airbnb. And even if you see me in my little, my little mini mansion, you see it throughout the year, every year. Go on my Facebook and keep seeing it. But it's an Airbnb. But would anyone care if my home was Airbnb? If it was just a regular apartment? So y'all say I'm all about the money and the money is messing with my mind. No, the money's messing with the minds of the people that's doing that crap. Because they don't care when the shit don't cost money. They're only concerned if you own it, if it costs more money. Because these people secretly believe that since they can't do it, or they feel they can't do it, how the hell could I do it? Because they think so low of themselves that they think even lower of other people. They themselves believe they're not capable of doing these things without doing something compromising. So how are they going to think that I'm able to do it? How people think very low of themselves. So they think even low of their own people. Come on, walk with me. Let's, let's, let's get a good view and let's get up out of here. Let's get a good view. Let's get out of here. Talk to me nice. See, you can fake astrology, you can fake numerology, you can fake palm readings and foot readings and all that shit. Fake like you're an expert in health and all. You can fake all of that. You can't fake success because one way or the other, somebody's going to say, you know, I, I live right next to him. He live in the hood. Yo, his children really walking around here ashy. At some point or the other, you can't fake success. You're just not going to fake success throughout the year, every year. But like I tell you this, look at these Negroes online. What do you see that's different from them from one year to the next? They might change their backdrop a little bit. They might use a new streaming service. They might even get new microphones. I give them that. You Negroes got some new microphones and new headphones. About damn time you did something new. But outside of that, look at the content. They're still disrespecting each other, uploading negative videos. How do you, the people, benefit from black men disrespecting other black men? Posting other black men's faces and their children and their... And their yo, listen. People got upset when I left them. Cash cow left. And they still got to make money off of me just by talking about me. Because they have no skill and no talent. Don't get caught up in that. Because two, three years go by, four, five years go by. And you don't have nothing to say for yourself when your family's looking at you saying, Oh, I watch this person's channel all the time. Or I connect. Thank you, brother. Keep up the good work. What work are they doing? What work are they really doing? Come on now. Talk to me nice. CRM, Credit Restoration Microwave. Two bands gives you 100000 You lit. Send your full name and your phone number to brother P O L I J H T 45 at gmail.com. It, when you're ready to purchase, you don't have to call me and say I'll be ready next week. You don't have to call me and say I'll be ready two days from now, three days from now. You don't have to call and uh, you don't have to email. And then when one of the administrators call, oh, um, I just was fine. No, I just explained it. You good. We're going to send out the compendiums, memorandums, and affidavits. It's your legal right to have access to at least six figures. They don't teach this stuff in school. You go to school from pre K to 12th grade, that's 14 years of going to school. They don't teach you nothing about food, clothing, or shelter. You don't learn how to sew or crochet. You barely know how to cook any food and they, they do something at home make. It might be make a pizza, but the shit is acidic because of the flour that you're using, because of the, the milk that you're using, the acidic tomatoes that you're using, the cheese that got lactose that's hard for us to break down. It's trash. So they ain't teaching you no proper way. And when they talk about food, they should teach you about nutrition, bioavailable minerals, flavonoids. They don't teach you what you're supposed to learn. Show me how to make a pizza is not teaching me about food. Teach me about my haplotype and retrospect to what foods is compromised and what foods that I'm able to break down, what's bioavailable depending on what I'm consuming. That's teaching about health. So at the end of the day, you go to school from pre-K to 12th grade, 14 years of school, food, clothing, and shelter. These are necessities for all adults. You don't know how to make your own clothes. You, you don't know nothing about food when you leave from them. And you know nothing about shelter or real estate, how to purchase your own property. You got to rely on the person selling you the property to walk you through an orientation and, and a remedial class just to teach you how to be a first-time homeowner. You wouldn't even know how to fill out a first-time homeowner's application. And then you get beat in your head. And then you got to look at the deed because you either got a tenancy deed or a warranty deed, which means you don't even own the property in the first place. And there's ways around it. But then that goes back to you learning about mortgage hypothecation. If you don't know about a mortgage hypothecation, what you going to do about that? And then you got insurance. Okay, what kind of insurance? Most of you guys don't even get whole life insurance, so you can borrow against a policy, so you can benefit off of it. Most of you will only benefit off of your insurance policy when you die, so it should be called death insurance instead of life insurance.
They don't teach you about QRP, so qualified retirement plans, which are cash tax, the uh, cash, qual, qualified retirement plans, which are cash and tax deferral compensation arrangement plans. They don't teach you about that. Teach about these damn 401ks. At least with a QRP, when you got that as part of your pension plan, you can behave as a trustee to your own account. There's a lot of information out here that they're not talking to you about on purpose. On purpose. So why everybody was doing the BS and gossiping and everything? I was studying. It was like, yo. Come on, bro, that's not black power. That's not this, that's not that. Okay, now look at them and look at me. Now everything I do, they gotta try to create an illusion like everything I'm doing is corrupt, it's not real. Oh, he's just down with the white man's stuff. He's wearing the white man's clothes. He's drawing the white man's clothes. You say all that shit, right? But what do they have to offer the community other than gossip? See, I was studying to make sure the next time I open my damn mouth, that I'm sharing something that's viable, that our people can use to thrive, to uplift themselves and their family. If we ain't doing that, we ain't doing nothing. Talk to me nice. Come on now, I'm too smart to be broke. And y'all should be saying the same thing, the onus is on you. Get your one tenth of a million, spend your two bags, or get your nine income stream course. That's gonna be $150 for now, discounted rate. You email, you leave your full name, your phone number, say, hey, I wanna buy the nine income stream course for $150. So I teach you how to have nine different streams of income. Get the CRM. I'll give you access to over 100 bands, 100,000. Come on, I'm from Brooklyn, man. I know what it is. I know what it is to wake up and see roaches. When I'm opening up the cereal and I got a question, damn, do I, do I want to throw away the cereal because these little roaches went by? I went through the real struggle, man. What the fuck is people talking about? What the fuck is they really talking about? I, I, I went through being in juvenile detention facilities, being homeless, being in shelters. I went through it. Rikers out. I went through it. I've been through the system. So I know what it is to struggle. And I don't wish struggle on nobody. And if, and if we could avoid the struggle for our children, that should be our number one priority or for, or for the children that you would eventually have. Cause we making babies in the struggle, which is crazy. It's crazy. But, listen, bro, let's vibe, let's vibe. So I can keep going on, cause this is really in my heart. It's just like you can't fake success, you can't fake knowledge either. You either have it or you don't. Ask those guys to just build off the top of their head and drop some knowledge. They can't, cause they don't study. These guys are really fucking hustlers, man. They, re they really play. They're not even masters of illusion. You leave it up to them another five years from now, they're still going to be doing the same damn videos, disrespecting each other every year. They love each other, they hate each other. They love each other, they hate each other. Every year. they friends and then they break up again. Every year. These guys are nuts. <laughs> they crazy, for real. Don't get mad at what I spend my bread on. Just show me how you spend yours. When you get access to it, show me how to do it. Let's have fun showing each other what we would do to make that real bread. I mean, who's complaining? These are purple bottoms. Red bottom had purple bottom shoes. Let's go. You know what we came here to do. You know, you know what we're talking about. Hey, you know how we do. Huh? You know we don't close our own doors, right? We don't close our own doors. Hey, hold on. We're going to do take two. Hmm. We don't close our own doors. You know what I'm saying? When the car, when you drive a mortgage on wheels, you press the button to close the door. What the fuck is they really talking about? I'm too smart to be broke. I went through a lot. Look at this. When I look at my body, I see gunshot wounds. I see slices. Come on, man. From here to here. Come on, I, I, I got war scars on my body. So ain't a day that I don't wake up that I realize I'm truly blessed. Ain't nobody gonna take that from me. I'm truly blessed because I took the time out to study. And guess what? My family members hate too, but it's all right. We got to the time out to study and they didn't want to study with me. When I was in a the struggle, they ain't create opportunities for me. When I was like, yo, we put our bread together, we put this together, we pull our funds, we can all get out of here. I don't even have to be the first one. I'll, 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 I'll feed you the knowledge if you just start helping me fund it. Let's get five of us, put this money up and we could, we could crush it. Nah, they ain't do that either. So what we really talking about? Blessings in abundance, man. Blessings in abundance. Let me take a good look at you guys. It's so sunny out here. Blessings in abundance, man. Hey, I, I love the I love the fan for the support and the appreciation, man. This is accountability teachings. That's what this is. It's an accountability doctrine. 
Make your bread, brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Get access to one tenth of a million. It's your legal right to get access to those lines of credit. But they purposely don't teach this information in school because they would give everybody a head start. Just like they don't teach about opportunity. So when we come into money, it's normally prematurely. So what I mean by coming into money prematurely, if you ain't never have a vision or a plan for what you would do with the money if you get it, then when you wind up getting it from some lawsuit or someone dying, your family you get inheritance, you blow the bread. And it's easy come, easy go. Trust me. Money's weird, man. You gotta have you gonna run right through it so much. You can run through a whole lot so quickly. But I talk to you guys. Blessings and abundance. I love you all for real. Focus, study, and make sure whatever you studying, you make it applicable. Real talk. This is lyrical fitness Sick and I'm gifted It's ridiculous This prick is a feminine bitch With two bars on a cane Into the center of his lip Twizzlers get bit The color of lipstick To smother his kids with Looking like a booty goon pirate Screaming out Take a douche kid Shove it up his rectum Like a pool stick Slam him in the lock Up and doing live streams In the night In pajamas A buttoned up shirt With the boxes Get the glocks on Let it off uh. Catherine Brown Look like one of them Caked up faces In a magazine Man at me I would happily Take her on a date Applebee's Jack off my sperm In a plate Bone appetite I'm a good guy Chucky in the flesh Old school rap You're not rocking with the best My ding a -ling, My ding a -ling. I want you to play With my ding a -ling. Scarlet it oh, shit I'm getting off topic Double entendres Coming all that Once you're a tourist Surgeon can lure His girl to adore us Oh mama ocean Babylonian Machiavelli is By an ornament Son of Monza King On a monopoly You're not the lottery You're my your property Monopoly Oligopoly Commodity is what you got to be Socrates philosophy Bomb atomically Montavious Wood grain Wants wobbly Follow me What up girl I'm King Kong conscious Shake your little booty Till my dick get longer I'm the type to rearrange your face In the mirror Your circadian rhythm Is as blurred as your vision Showing this pig With a dope I've been pinching The go and get rid of the dough I'm a flip son Of a bitch Can't you all take a joke Who want the smoke When I put out the flame I do this forever Ain't new to the game In conclusion However the screws In my cranium Calculated every move When I'm making them Low and they shit again On a track When I mess up I'm like oh, What the fuck Just get to the facts Spitting like yeah. Here kitty kitty There's 20 kittens Literally here Sitting with me Staring at pennies Hoppity hop, skippity skip the hook, this is an it This is the bridge and it goes as hard as Tiffany's tits The kid is a menace Before the doors are closed, we'll do see do the rodeo Forgot the lyrics to the song and how the chorus go But you know what, I do not know what you already know We'll do see do, we'll do see do, let's do see do the chorus 